Howdy folks, Congo here, and today this is the first episode in a series featuring the American Carriers in my Simple Guide series. And this episode we'll be talking about the first Tier 4 Carrier, the Langley. Uh, this is the uh, Tier 4 American Carrier in the start of the line up to the midway. Uh, we'll be going over uh, upgrades, uh, what uh, plane upgrades you should get first. Uh, then what uh, upgrade like modules you should take commander skills and then we'll take it out into a random battle and play it uh, So first uh, Brief mention on the upgrades uh, since there are no plane upgrades for tier 4 carriers uh, You can just go straight into hull and then work your way towards the ranger um, in terms of upgrades uh, Air groups modification one and aircraft engines modification one very staple two modules you'll take on basically every single carrier uh, and are incredibly useful at this lower tier especially since your planes are so slow in terms of commander builds uh, i have a 10 point commander on the langley and i expect most people will have either a lower tier or at least a 10 point commander um so for the first 10 points i have air supremacy improved engines aircraft armor and then finally bomber flight control this is just for more speed on my on our dive bombers and this is uh, a commander for midway uh, and midway is very much a bomber kind of focused heavy carrier where you want to use your bombers to follow up on floods after your torpedo bombers so starting this line out we'll just take this first and this also helps with some of the slow speed uh, of the the langley's aircraft um so that's the first 10 points uh if you get a 13 point commander before you get up to the ranger then i would take survivability expert next uh, this just gives you more HP, which can go on top of the damage mitigation you have from aircraft armor. Um, you take aircraft armor first, though, because of the way priority sector works in the game currently. Um, because it deals a percentage of the HP of the squadron, having more health means you will take more damage from this. Whereas just having flat mitigation means you will take less damage overall. Um, but having both means effectively you have more, but at these lower tiers you want to get the armor first. And then once you get 13 points, come back and pick up Survivability Expert. Uh, so, pretty straightforward on the uh, Langley. It's it's a very simple carrier. Uh, the Tier 4 carriers are very simple. Uh, worth noting that these are biplanes, so they are very slow. Um, and so something to worth mentioning is that uh, two things to mention your concealment and your speed uh because tier 4 carriers as i've mentioned have very slow planes you want to be fairly close to the battlefield to uh make your plane turn around time very quick uh so you can strike faster and make your influence better uh and with the langley your concealment is 9.8 and your speed is only an abysmal 15 knots um so that is worth noting is that getting into that position is going to be a lot harder uh, as opposed to on something like a Hosho or a Hrein or even the uh, British Tier 4 carrier, the Hermes. Uh, they're a bit faster. Most of them are much faster. Most of them do 20, 22 knots, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, so the Langley is incredibly slow. Um, and it means that if you get caught with your pants down by a destroyer, you're basically dead because you cannot outrun them. I mean, even battleships at this tier will keep pace with you, if not just outrun you. Uh, so it does mean, mean you need to be very mindful of your your surroundings and your mini-map uh, because these maps are a lot more open and it is very easier on these maps, on these lower tier maps, for destroyers to get into the back line and get to you. So you need to be very, very mindful of where the enemy destroyers were, where they might be going, and to not be where they think you are uh, so that you don't get caught like that because as I've mentioned the Langley is very slow and if you get caught you are dead so we got a game up here and we'll see it's probably double carrier uh, that's very common at this tier double carrier a lot of destroyers um, as a Langley though American carriers we do have access to high explosive dive bombers which means we can use dive bombers on destroyers uh, which is nice. Um, so you got two DDs, a couple cruisers, and then a whole lot of battleships. Um, in terms of what kind of scares me in AA, a lot of tier fives as well, which is not ideal for us. Um, mostly just the Texas. Uh, the Texas is really the only scary one. 
a Texas while it has very 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 short range and I mean very short range AA um, it is compensated by the fact that it's AA DPS at that close range it is closer to tier 8 it has like NC AA DPS uh, so maybe not want to strike him first because uh, we will lose planes uh, but the rest of the targets nothing else really scares me I should be able to kind of push them around um, so we'll probably uh, ideally want to focus uh, battleships um, come in with our torpedo bombers hit them with the torp and then if we can force a, a repair with a flood come in with the dive bombers and set a fire and this is kind of um, the typical kind of playstyle for the American carriers uh, throughout the tech line is get a fire or get a flood get a fire with your rocket planes or get a flood with your torpedo bombers and then come in with your hard hitting high explosive bombers and hit really hard and set perma fires ideally two or three um, but even one sticky fire can be a lot of, of extra damage that you can get on a target so we see the Mitsuki here Kaiser Iron Dude, there's a New York. Um, Matsuki doesn't have her AA on, which is good, so we'll go for this Iron Dude. Uh, these are American torps, though, so they are incredibly slow. That's not too much of an issue at this tier. Um, and even you can see, even a New York is, is hurting me a lot. Um, we did get a flood. We'll see if we can see if he uses his repair. And you can see as we're coming in, you notice the white lights flickering on the um, on the Iron Duke. That means his damage control is active. So we're not going to get another flood uh, with those torps. That does mean that we will immediately scramble our dive bombers and try and set a fire as soon as this repair comes off, or as close to it as possible. Because uh, uh, we want to minimize the time that his repair is on cooldown and he is not on fire. We want his prepare to be on cooldown the longest and him to be on fire the longest because uh, that is more damage for us so we're just going to come hauling back in here there's the mitsuki again i don't really care about her at the moment i mean she's capping but she doesn't have a lot of support at the moment the kaiser's moving up but i just want to get some damage on this iron Duke. get damage on these these big targets because uh, they are kind of the big threat to our cruisers at this tier I mean, it's the tier 4 cruisers, tier 4 cruisers, tier 5 cruisers, even some of the tier 6 cruisers are very, very squishy. I'm gonna go for the bow. Ah, unfortunately, I did not get a fire. Just going with this last dive bomber. Maybe see if we can get a fire. No, I'm not gonna get it. The AA value is exceptionally high. Ah, uh, so. We didn't get a flood, or we didn't get a fire to follow up on that Iron Dude, so uh, instead we're just going to go for these two DDs, uh, because we've got two DDs that are currently rushing our one DD, so we want to support him as much as possible. We don't want these DDs to rush down our battleships, and we don't want uh, our DD to die, because if our DD dies, then uh, we're probably next. got his engine boost running though. Curiously though, he tried to torque a destroyer as a Shang Yang, uh, which if you don't know why that is curious, uh, that is a Pan-Asian destroyer. It has deep water torques. You cannot torque a destroyer, so that was uh, a rather interesting play on his part. I, I don't know if he realized he couldn't torque a destroyer or not. here. I need my team to push in though. Unfortunately, my team is kind of wasting a lot of time dealing with this, this one battleship and these destroyers. Texas is down, which is really good for us. I 
hydrogen's on fire in multiple places. This dive bomber strike is not going to be that great on her, especially with the iron beam pushing in. Unfortunately, as a tier 4 carrier in a tier 5 game, you can suffer a lot more uh, when the enemy is grouped up. Letting the Kaiser have his way. Um, we are actually, in fact, surface spotted by the Kaiser uh, because my team is just playing really, really passive and not doing anything about it, which is um, it's not great. It's not great, to say the least. Uh, hopefully, the Kaiser goes down there. It He's at 129 health. Oh, that oh, feels good. Now he's service spotting me again. I'm gonna go for the Iron Duke. I'm hoping that somebody can kill him. There we go. And he goes down. I didn't want to waste torpedoes on the, the Kaiser if I could help it. Uh, because I don't get a ton of strikes. Uh, because my planes are slow and the turnaround time is slow. I'm not gonna get a ton of strikes, so I gotta make every strike count. her and maybe uh, punish her because uh, we know she's somewhat low so if we can find her we can actually just kill her uh, which would be really good for our team the enemy team has taken the lead in fact I am going to push into the cap because if I don't our team is going to lose I'm not sure what my team is doing at the moment. It's like they want to push C, they want to push B, and this is kind of a, kind of a big issue with tier four carriers. Um, you don't have a lot of reserves, and if your team decides to potato, you kind of just have to go with it. I can't push this cap yet, not until this iron you can see they're pushed back or dead. Uh, so we're gonna keep focusing on her. I do want to push eventually uh, because we need the points uh, because we have no caps under our control there's the Mitsuki she went B which is actually good for us because that means we can take C now we don't have to worry about the Mitsuki jumping us we can take C very easily and free to worry about this iron That sets a flood. Oh, I didn't. So the Iron Duke just used his repair on the uh, the flood we set. If we can set a fire or a flood uh, with those torpedo bombers, which have been really nice, uh, we could have killed them. Unfortunately, we didn't set up a flood. Hopefully, we can set a fire. We might be able to burn them out. Unfortunately, our fire RNG has uh, not been kind to us this game.
Finally, we got him. We destroyed an enemy battleship. And we're gonna move our carrier down this way towards the B side because we want to cap B as well. We're currently capping C. The Mitsuki's gone down to A. She's still alive, unfortunately. We lost a ton of ships at B to a really silly push. Okay. Running still him. Alright, so now we just need to kill this New York very quickly. Um, I know he's AFK, uh, but we need the points, uh, and he is worth points. So, ideally, if we can get a couple floods on him and the uh, Revolution, we just set a triple fire, it looks like, uh, then we can kill him pretty quick. And it looks like there is a Langley. I'm going to drop one torque set on the bow. There we go, got a flood. Then I'm going to go for another torque set on the stern of the ship to set a double flood. And then I will probably drop this last set on the um, carrier. Uh, because with a uh, triple fire and a flood, he's definitely going to die. Uh, three dot damage sources on a, on a battleship uh, will kill him. to panic drop those a bit. That's okay. Hit one. So now we just need to push down towards our New York give him some support, uh, because, uh, since we can't drop fighters as a, uh, as a tier 4 carrier, uh, the best way we can support our teammate with AA is to just push in with them. That only took a big hit, so we might be able to just come in and finish them off. And if we finish him off, then that eliminates one of their carriers. killed him. So now we have the Cesare to deal with. He is unfortunately basically full health, which is not too great. Alright, uh, I'm probably going to want to stop my ship, actually, because I don't want to get by this Cesare, because uh, Cesare could very easily kill me. The enemy, the uh, Gengit at A is almost dead, so hopefully our language, our friendly language can kill him. He's got up to 200 health. He should go down. And if we can just keep resetting this Cesare, then we should be in a good spot to win this. Don't let him get the cap. Gengit is going to get it, unfortunately. I'm going to jump there. Try and see if I can set a second fire. There we go. I set a second fire on his superstructure. Uh, I saw I needed a fire on the front superstructure and on the stern, so I intentionally went to try and set it on the back. I'm going to try and set drop these ones uh, on the bow. I want to try and get a fire on the bow. Unfortunately, we did not get a fire. But he is uh, he is burning quite nicely right now, and he will either burn to death or he will uh, die to our torps right here. Uh, these torps are more of just an insurance policy, just to make sure he goes down. And there we go. He went down to the uh, Revolution's uh, torpedoes or to to the Revolution's fires. Next target is going to be that Gangit. He's low health, uh, so we want to make sure he goes down next. Take more points from the enemy. Don't let them get points. Just an Lucia. They hit. They 
don't, we'll need to go in and kill him. So here we're kind of making a, a cross, cross torp, cross torping this battleship with um, my friendly carrier. Uh, no matter where that guy turns, he was going to be you eating torps from someone, battleship. either me or him. So now we need to move towards our revolution. We don't want our revolution to die now. Uh, he's got some health, but gets a sticky fire that could go very quickly so we want to move our carrier towards him and give him support. Our New York is pretty low last I saw. I'll check his health is in his own How much health does he have? He's got some health so... So we just want to keep with our New York. Uh, provide him AA cover in case the revolution goes down. And in the meantime just try and Try and deal damage to this carrier. Get get rid of him. Uh, he's their only remaining ship left. Uh, and it does look like we will win this. Uh, we have the points lead and the cap lead. So as long as we just focus on this carrier and protect our friendly battleships with our own carrier, uh, we should be able to win this. Um, it was looking a little grim at the beginning. We lost a lot of ships really silly to be, but we managed to come back and, and luckily they had an AFK battleship, which really helped us. If they didn't have an AFK battleship, I don't think we would have won this. Ooh, big hit from the Langley. And I think the Revolution also got a couple of Citadels too. So we might be able to come in and while well, uh, the fighters are tagged on our friendly carrier's uh, rocket aircraft, we're going to come in and try and see if we can pipe bomb them. There we go, New York got him. So with a bit of careful positioning, we were able to push into C, cap it, and then just kind of move with our team and, and help. I mean, we were able to turn our plane turner on time enough that we were able to strike very quickly on that on that battleship and then very quickly get in and strike that AFK battleship, set a couple perma dots, and then just let him go. We knew he was AFK. Oh, okay get that bug again uh we knew he was afk so we knew uh just a couple floods would be enough to kill him um especially with the fire slip by the friendly battleship uh and and with that we were able to kind of turn that flank and then kind of come in and take the middle cap and and just hold the points uh and with that we were able to win so uh 84k damage uh and how will we on the team we were third on the team which is still very good uh so that is the Langley, the uh, introduction to the American carriers. Um, it's a bit slow paced, but it has the same core concepts and, uh, as the rest of the carriers. And if you use that core concept to kind of move through with the rest of it, you'll do very well with the American carriers. Um, so that is the Langley. And uh, I will see you next episode. Uh, we'll talk about the Ranger, the tier six, which uh, have uh, quite a decent game in that. And uh, uh, it does the same thing as the Langley, but better, so to speak. Until then, see you next time.